how to create a sitemap in your Shopify store and submit it to Google Search Console. Okay, so there are two things here. Firstly is your store sitemap. So what is sitemap? Sitemap is a feature for your uh, Shopify store on the online uh, search pages. And the Google Search Console is a, an app by Google for you to track your uh, site traffic. So it's very important to do like SEO and the likes of it. Okay, so the first step is to open your sitemap. And good news here, you will already have a sitemap ready for Shopify. So to do that, just go to your store and click the URL on the search bar. Uh, hit forward slash on your keyboard and go to sitemap.xml. Yep. Once you've typed that in, uh, enter. Now, there you go. As you can see, the description is, this is the parent sitemap, linking to additional sitemaps for products, collections, and pages as shown below. The sitemap cannot be edited manually, but is kept up to date in real time. So sitemap in Shopify is very automatic, so you don't have to do anything about it. Now, currently, I, I only have three sitemaps because I do not have a lot of pages yet on my store but if you have a lot of pages you will have multiple sitemaps for each of those pages so as you can see this is the main sitemap over here the parent sitemap now i also have a pages sitemap a sitemap for my collections page and my sitemap for the blogs now what we want to do is to copy the parent sitemap so just uh, block the topmost uh, sitemap over here. Click Control C and go to Google Search Console and Control V. Now, when you're just started on Google Console, you will be prompted into this uh, page. Otherwise, if you already have a Google Search Console account and you're already using it, just click the Add Sitemap button on the left hand menu. Okay, anyway, so let's paste our, sorry. Yes, yeah, this is HTTPS. Okay, so just make sure that you also put the HTTP in front of it because we do need it to add our URL prefix. Okay, once you've uh, pasted your main sitemap, just click continue. And let's wait for Google to check the verification. Okay, so there are a few things that you can do to verify your ownership into the store because, of course, you need to tell Google that you are the owner of the website in order for this to work, right? Now, I highly recommend for Shopify is uh, to use HTML tag and to use this method of verification, just copy the meta tag over here and we will uh, put it in our theme.liquid on our Shopify store. So let's go to admin.shopify.com to go to the back end of our store. Okay, so let's just wait real quick. Okay, now to find your theme.liquid, just go to online store on the sales channels. And no matter what type of theme that you have, the process will be the same. So click the three button over here, the three points button next to customize and click edit code. Now, once you've clicked edit code, head over to theme.liquid over here on the left hand menu over here. And we will paste it under the head section. So just enter. Okay, now once you've entered it, uh, control V we pay okay so what this does is that we've pasted a meta tag for google site uh, console google search console to verify that uh, we are the owner of this website so let's click save and once we've clicked save just click verify go back to search.google.com and click verify okay so uh 
fun fact about uh, med attacks is that there you go. Sometimes it fails, but uh, this happens because the med attack will take some time for uh, ver for verifying. So, um, in the first uh, steps, you might, uh, especially if you're the f if it's the first time that you add that tag, you might want to wait for one day or so to verify it back. So this is just the case for me, but um, in another case, you can already um, search your Google search. Uh, you can already see your Shopify store uh, search console. However, in my case over here, as you can see, I haven't been able to verify my uh, meta tag. But if you've already opened your, uh, if you've already successful in adding your uh, ownership verification, you will be prompted uh, to a menu. However, in our case, let's just add the sitemap for other uh, pages. So let's go back to our uh, Shopify store. There you go. Let's exit this uh, themes and go to settings to find our store URL. Click on that and go to sitemap.xml. Again, the same process. And you know what? Let's just copy and paste our uh, sitemap for our pages. Now the idea here is to add your site, uh, each of your sitemap uh, links so that you can track every traffic in every page, right? So let's just go ahead and do that and we've already added this but we need to add it um, on each of the pages so uh, for for each sitemap, so let's just copy it again and go to the store manager, go to themes, and let's go back to uh, theme dot liquid. Let's add the meta another meta tag. So I guess as you can see, you have different uh, tags for different sitemaps, right? That's why we need to add it um, individually. Okay, when it's done, go back to search.google.com and click verify. Again, this uh, can fail, but if uh, this happens, just wait for one day or so. But the point is you need to add the uh, your URL for every sitemap over here so that you can track every page on your Shopify store. So that is all from me. Thank you.